Okay, Ants fans, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm a little bit bummed out right now because I sat down, I worked all day, uh, cleaned up the, the pigsty, and uh, sat down to do a, a Warzone video. And I recorded the video, it was lots of fun. I was raiding in enemy territory, I hashed a bunch of insects, and I really killed the, uh, the Warzone, popped all my rewards, and... I didn't push record. So here we are. Um, right now I'm sitting in enemy territory after uh, raiding and whatnot. And uh, I'm just trying to get some advertisement for my channel. I'm hoping they're going to, you know, take a look, check out my channel. And I'm hoping uh, you like, subscribe, and comment down below. But let's uh, take a look at the strongest war zone. Because it was one of my best days ever. Um, really coincidental war zone day because... Uh, it was a Warzone event uh, defeat Soldier Ants. So we attack other hills and other mines and we get points for defeating Soldier Ants. Uh, if you look, you also get points for losing Soldier Ants when attacking enemy anthills. So attacking enemy anthills and uh, defeating their ants, even when you lose some ants, you get points for that as well. It's also insect day, hatch insects. So I hatched a bunch of insects and that was, uh, that was good. Um, got lots of points, so it's a good day to make points, and I'm trying to keep my Warzone points up to uh, help out the realm and to keep my uh, counselor status with the king. Um, and speaking of the king, I got a, I'm gonna got a message from the king for a, a viewer. So hold on, let's get to this. Uh, occupy sand pile in the enemy zone and gather sand. So you can be in the enemy zone and just collect resources all day or all night while you're sleeping. And if you don't get attacked, your mines don't get attacked. Well, even if you do, you get that sand anyway. But uh, the longer you can mine there, the more resources you get, the more points you get for the war zone. Occupy the squirter for 30 seconds. Uh, I don't I don't usually occupy the squirter. I wouldn't just look at the squirter and the big tough dude from the other server was, was he sitting in it. I didn't want to attack that. But what else you got? So, mm, gathering and whatnot. So, if I take a look... I got, I popped all these shells and I was, I'm, um, my highest war zone in a while, 462 million, the cap's at 337 million, so, uh, that, that took me only about half an hour, well, I mean, no, I started last night with the insects and stuff, I, so maybe an hour and a half plate total got me all the rewards for the day, um, but the other thing I want to do is, yeah, a little shout out. Let's take a look at the zone chat. I didn't have to go downstairs to check the zone chat, I don't think. But if I look in the zone chat and I scroll back up, here it is. So, I saw Garang on, and I remember that a viewer left a message, and the message was uh, to tell Garang, Hello, J Jeremiah's Mount Loco from Lost Islands came into my YouTube and said hi to you. And uh, Garang says, Hey, thanks, Yagyu. Um, B says something in um, another language. It says, Mac, I got in YouTube. So maybe they checked it out. Send my regard. Okay, and then Pepsodent, the king of the realm, says, send my regards to him, Yagyu. So, yeah, Jeremiah's Mount Loco. Um, Garang says hi. Pepsodent says hi. I told them I'll say hi. So I took care of that on the video that I didn't record. And so... Yeah, I missed a really exciting video and lots of fun. So let's talk about something boring. Let's talk about, um, let's see, what's this? The mutation pool. Let's look at the details of the mutation pool. Power, 23,000. Redemption cost, minus 46%. Oh, so maybe the higher level costs less to redeem shells. And redeem times 39 so the higher level it is, the more shells you can obviously redeem. Let's look inside at redeem shells. I still have, hey, 39 shells to redeem. I got to do this before the day's end. I'd like to get my green ones done. Let's do some of those. But is there a faster way to do this? Yeah, we'll use these 10 exotic shells so we can get 10. Um, three. But... Yeah, in the mutation, uh, yeah, redeem spores. 
and they give you medium shells for spores. Now I made a mistake, and last week I cashed out all my most of my purple shells, and I didn't look for my double shells from my development ants. So hey, um, before you cash in your shells, make sure that your development ants. Like if I had any, uh, what if I got rid of some yellow spider shells that I I like, or um, you know, there's a couple of the, the green head. Get a couple more. Oh, yeah. I don't want to take too many of these because I need to save some to do every day until egg day. But there we go. We'll take a few of those. Now, you know the drill. Um, like, subscribe, comment down below. I'm just going to finish up the video with a little bit of gameplay before the day's end. But that's a little bit about the... What? Mutation? Well, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Special Ants Mutation. Ah, uh, mutation ability, hunt, mutation ability, shield, mutation ability, attack, mutation ability, target. So, my sl let's look at my slim arch, has a, has a buff. When invading, it's squad attack, plus 8%. When invading, it's squad defense. So let's give it an upgrade while we're in here. Something else you can do. Ooh, do I want to do that? I want to do it on, it is insect day. It's not egg day, it's insect day. I'm going to wait and see if I can, because using um, spores helps on insect day and maybe mutation. But in here you can mutate some abilities once you have those abilities. Uh, and, oh, these are locked, but I'm getting closer to some of them. Uh, I'm going to get a bonus for so it's in a squad health. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's the mutation pool. And thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.